It is the deadliest incident of human smuggling on U.S. soil. In San Antonio, Texas, at least 53 dead. The bodies found in a sweltering tractor trailer on the city's southwest side. We're not supposed to open up a truck and see stacks of bodies in there. They are suspected migrants, mostly from Mexico, but also from Guatemala and Honduras, among other nations. Among the dead, children. The patients that we saw were hot to the touch. This has long been a problem along the U.S. border. People are weighing the cost benefits uh, in, in terms of their own lives. And so they're taking these highly risky, exploitive chances uh, with their life um, as they see into the future what might be uh, a better life for them or their families. In 2003, 18, then 19 died in the rear compartment of an 18-wheeler in South Texas. The driver smuggled them across for $7,500, but did not turn on the truck's cooling system. In 2017, 10 died after being found in a trailer in a Walmart parking lot in San Antonio. But lately, the situation at the U.S. border has people getting desperate. The border has been closed to most asylum seekers since March of 2020. There's been a surge of migration, with arrests way up. It all means more risk, with people taking dangerous chances in unforgiving terrain and 100-plus degree heat. Gavin Rogers so, is a pastor in San Antonio. Yeah, it's tragic day. His outreach includes helping I immigrants resettle. I wish our team, I wish that um, those families and individuals who passed away on that trailer could have had the opportunity to stay at our shelter, who could have who've gone through a system that's fair and compassionate um, and so, yeah, it's that I feel like we are at a place where um, we have put people in two situations. Wherever there are borders, there is human smuggling and trafficking, where people are exploited by fraud or force. In Europe, it could mean overloaded boats that sink in the Mediterranean between Africa and nations to the north. I often think about push-pull factors. Uh, pull factors uh, pull people across those borders for reasons like opportunity, we think about um, industries that need cheap labor. Push factors uh, are things like reunifying with family members. Uh, they are things like escaping violence, looking for protection like our police forces might give them. It is a web of smugglers, so-called coyotes, who take thousands of dollars from people wanting to be snuck past checkpoints. Fixing it won't be easy. I think we can never give up um, the vision that we are going to live in a world that uh, absolutely does not have the exploitation of human beings. It is a crime that is preventable. We need to just come together and say this is not acceptable, uh, uh, the nation who we are. Uh, so I think it's a failure to, to get along. And I think we're seeing the fruits of that um, as we speak.